briefing and polar system. The laptop used to control the Noel and Newborn simulator works as a kiosk system that will allow you to easily control both the simulation and record simultaneously using one PC. The debriefing system includes one USB camera for recording a video and audio stream of the simulation. The system also records a screen capture of the Vital Signs monitor screen simultaneously. Both video streams are synchronized with GoMard UI's log information and stored in the event library at the end of the simulation session. The Micro Plus interface is divided into two main screens. To switch between them, click the toggle button near the top of the screen. By default, the Micro Plus system will load onto the GoMard screen. From here, the GoMard UI software is used to control the simulator's functionality. Switch over to the audio and video screen to monitor and control the session's recording. The Micro Plus system will start to record once the instructor has selected a simulator from the GoMard UI startup screen. To start a new recording while the GoMard UI is running, go to the menu bar and click File, then New Session. The instructor can stop recording using the recording controls on the audio and video screen. Alternatively, a session recording will automatically stop when the GoMard UI software is closed. Once simulation is finished, the session recording can be played back on the Vital Signs monitor screen for debriefing. First, close any applications currently running on the Vital Signs monitor, then open the Internet Explorer. In the web address field, enter Micro Plus IP address and click Enter. Log in by entering admin in the username and password field. On the following screen, click on the ETC button to continue. Once the MicroPlus web interface is loaded, click on the File Library button and select the desired session video. This will load the session video, Vitals Monitor screen capture, and log information onto the web video player. Each log entry is linked to the video and vital signs feed. Click on a log entry to load and view footage of the event. Use the playback controls to rewind, play, and pause the session footage. The audience response system incorporates wireless keypads to log audience responses during the debriefing part of the simulation. To set up the audience response system, first locate the USB RF receiver and wireless keypads packaged separately. Connect the RF receiver to the left USB port on the MicroPlus computer and hand out the keypads to the audience. The audience response software named Polar is built into the MicroPlus system. The Polar response software presents participants with an interactive on-screen questionnaire. Using the wireless clickers, participants respond to the on-screen questions anonymously. The advantage of the anonymous system allows the participants to provide feedback without fear of being singled out among peers. To use the Polar feature, click on the O button located on the Log Events window. Once the Polar menu is loaded, a list of pre-programmed questionnaires is displayed. For this example, select the Team Steps for Mo's questionnaire and click the Select button. When questionnaire is loaded, instruct the audience to select a response using the wireless keypads. The software will notify the instructor on how many participants have answered. After all the audience responses are registered, click Next to move on to the next screen. Please note that if the Show Results option is checked, the system will generate a bar graph from the question's results. At this point, engage the audience in a discussion about what things went well or did not go so well, according to the on-screen information. After all the questions have been answered, a summary with all the responses will be generated for review. Remember not to single out audience members during the debriefing. If necessary, approach audience members individually after the debriefing session is complete. The Polar Summary is automatically saved onto the session video so that it can be reviewed at a later time. For a detailed explanation on each button on the MicroPlus interface and web interface, please refer to the instruction manual under the Help menu in the GoMard UI.